Welcome back to my series, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what I'm going to title yet, but once I come up with a title, this will be a better produced video. Okay? Don't judge me. Judge your mama. Now, today we're going to talk about wrestlers that I don't like, but I feel like have potential to be better and can improve the be improved upon. I can't talk today. So here, we're going to start with these two. It's a two-for-one special today in Austin Theory mm, and Mr. Grayson Walla, as he likes to call himself. Lord, forgive me. Austin Theory is actually a very good in-ring competitor. What he lacks is charisma, poise, personality. He comes across as a well-produced, very well-made WWE 2K23 call. Regurgitating shit you've already heard, pretty much just giving you the bare minimum in character in terms of being a heel and a nuisance. When he gets to the point where he is just vicious and immensely angry, that's his best aspect in terms of his wrestling capability. He's incredibly strong. He's very good in the ring, has very good ring awareness. It's a rarity that you see him botch or mess up anything. He's got very good athleticism. The boy got hops. He can high fly. He can do ground and pound traditional wrestling. He can do it all. But what he lacks is the ability to pull people in, to draw, to care about what you're doing, whether you be heel or face. He lacks that. Now, most of that can be fixed with a good valet. I say pair him with a woman. Okay. I think traditionally, when you have guys like that and you pair them with a good female valet, that can take them over to the top and they don't even have to do a lot of the personality work. They can talk and be a nuisance, but she is going to be the liaison for them. She is going to push them forward. You feel what I'm saying? And he's just going to be the muscle and the work and the belt carrier that makes them look good. You feel what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to Grace and Walla, Grayson has a bit of an edge over Austin Theory, more specifically in the personality department. Now, the where Grayson Waller kind of lacks, in my opinion, is his ability to be consistent in that personality. Grayson Waller can be annoying, but he can also be funny and fun, and he also can be incredibly corny and flat. I need Grayson Waller to read people better. I need you to learn from your predecessors, <laughs> okay? If you're going to go out there and talk cash shit, then you need to be able to talk cash shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, go full-on Miz, full-on Razor Ramon. Like, you ain't got to be them. You can still be Grayson Waller, but you got to go at motherfuckers next, and Grayson Waller is just a nuisance. He's not really a plausible threat to anybody. If, if we're being fair, now I will say one thing. Grayson Waller is a sleeper type of wrestler where a lot of people don't give him his props, aren't really, you know, caring about what he's going to do, you know, and then he goes out there and he's spectacular in a match, like what he did with Trick Williams this past Tuesday. That was an excellent match for Grayson. But everything else, he... <laughs> He, he just not, I'm curious to see how well-rounded he is in terms of character. Because a lot of people can be good as a heel in terms of getting on people's nerves and, you know, hitting that little nerve and, and causing people to go over the deep end, pissing people off. But let me, let's see how you work when you have to be an anti-hero or a face. Because that's harder to do. It is very easy for you to be a heel. Being a heel is easy because you, all you have to do is just be an asshole. But it's harder when you have to be a heel with depth, when you have to be a heel with some type of, you know what? You got to be like a Thanos type of heel. You know what I'm saying? Where Thanos is evil to a certain extent, but you understand why he did what he did. Like he didn't want to. He felt like he had to, to save the planet, to save the universe. And half of the people had to go because it was just too much going on. That's the kind of the heel that's hard to be, where people can sympathize with you. It's very easy for you to just be an asshole heel, okay? 
So I'm very curious. I need Grayson Waller to have some layers. I need him to move forward and I need him to pivot. Take your cues from Seth freaking Rollins. Look at his career and how he was able to pivot in his character work. Love him or hate him, Seth Freaking Rollins is a blueprint for how you can revive and revamp yourself and still be one of the greats. Seth could be inducted in the Hall of Fame for any character that he has had while being in WWE. I can't say the same for Grayson Waller, but to be fair, Grayson Waller just started. So we're not going to shit on him too much. But I, and I mean, I'm not trying to give him too much weight because he ain't really had a chance to get his feet wet, wet yet. But from what we've seen, Grayson's still got a long way to go. And I'm I'm curious as to how he's going to develop and grow in the E, in this character. And when he switches, that's going to be his true test to see what he can do. These two got work to do. And in my opinion, I don't mind them being a tag team. I don't. But they got some work to do in terms of people taking them seriously in kayfabe as a tag team and as a plausible threat to the tag team titles wrestling wise they're fine but character wise they like two frat boys <laughs> they like two frat boys sitting up in the frat house like dude you want titles yeah dude i want titles that's pretty much it that that's pretty much what you're getting oh my god look at him he's a fat ass ha 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 yeah that's it that's it that's all you're gonna get babe and that don't work for me that don't work for me. I'm just gonna shit on your fucked up haircut and your and your and your two WWE 2K23 call gear. And Grayson Waller, I don't know what the fuck you be doing with your gear, babes. But I need you to get your shit together, okay? Because your gear is atrocious at this point. You either are gonna be a motherfucking Barbie cowgirl or you gonna be a leopard in the Serengeti. I don't know what to tell you. You always look like you finna go to the boxing gym and go to bed at the same time. Bitch, I need you to get it together. Pick a struggle. You either are going to be having boxing gear or you're going to be walking around in lingerie. Whichever one works for you, ho, but pick one of them. Stop wearing everything and anything. Stop finding tassels and motherfucking fringe and putting it on your shit. Because the shit you... I could go on and on about Grayson Waller because his ass be doing some... <laughs> his ass be doing some shit. And you know you be messing up. Get it together. <laughs> now let's move into Miss Tegan Knox. Since I did a two for one special with Grayson and Austin Theory, and it took up quite a bit of time, let's go to Tegan, and then we're going to move into Zoe. Okay. Tegan, girl, I think I can get behind Tegan Knox if Tegan had a little bit more aggression to her. So let me put it this way. When it came to um Dakota Kai there was a there was a time where I was not a big fan of Dakota I liked her when she when I first started watching her but then after a while I don't know there was something about Dakota that I just was just like mm, I don't know then Dakota showed depth Dakota switched from being a face to a heel and she's been living in that space for quite some time Dakota has been able to develop in that space. And that really made Dakota grow on me because you can, she has some layers to her, especially in NXT. If you haven't watched NXT in its old days, then you missed Dakota's growth and how she's been able to really, you know, I guess you could say not revive, but restructure and give herself just that added layer of like ooh, that's that's a cold bitch right there you feel what i'm saying the pairing of her with raquel was one of the best ideas they had because it also boosted raquel raquel was gonna need somebody like dakota for it to work dakota was good became good on the microphone she just she just had a way of capturing people tegan has got to gain some layers Okay, and I think that's the issue with T 